I know we've talked about this before, and I don't know who needs to hear this again, but if it's you, this video is definitely perfect for you, especially if you're making mistakes with pricing your designs. So if you're a person who's still not confident with pricing, then you probably want to keep watching. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel with my inspiring designs with me, Justine, where all I want to do is inspire the event designer in you. We have grown so much in this channel, so if you are new here, be sure to click that subscribe button to get notified on all the videos I do about pricing, designing, and running your event business like the CEO boss that you're supposed to be. In this video, we're gonna talk about the mistakes you're currently making with pricing your designs and how to fix them today. No excuses. A lot of people tend to DM me on Instagram asking about pricing and asking about what should they do. So I figured, let me make a another video because I want y'all to be successful. The first mistake that you're probably making when it comes to pricing your design is not having any confidence in your designs. When my event designers don't have confidence in their designs, there's a lot going on mentally versus what they actually create. Because more than likely, you all are creating beautiful designs that are validated and enough to charge your worth and more. However, there's a lot going on on here that we have to address. Before we get into how to fix this problem, which will be towards the end, so make sure you watch this video all the way through, let's talk about where does this lead to when you constantly make this mistake. Think about it. When someone lacks confidence in what they're selling, why would you give them their money if they're not even sure about their own price and their own design? This is a huge red flag or a green light. <laughs> For your clients to take advantage of you because if you don't have confidence to stand your ground about what you're worth guess what they already know and there's snakes in the garden all the time so they'll just slither their way to you and take advantage of the lack of confidence you have especially if they have more confidence than you also when you don't have confidence in your designs you won't look like the expert and when you don't look like the expert you look like the student or someone who's just getting started or learning when you're not confident with your designs it leads to no value people are just going to sniff out the bs and the fluff that you're trying to sell them which just generates no income for your business no value equals no sale so stop doing it the next mistake that you're making when it comes to pricing your designs is severely undercharging. Now I know in this previous video right here, we've talked about undercharging and not charging your worth, but let's really dive deep into what's going on when you're severely undercharging. When you're severely undercharging your prices, it just means that you're not keeping track of the numbers in your business. I know I say it over and over and over again but some of y'all need to hear it one more time when you don't keep track of the numbers that are coming in and out how can you sit here and set a price that's effectively to ensure you're making a profit i know i can when you're severely undercharging it's usually like all of a sudden you get a client and then now you have no plan for how to charge this client you have no plan of how to price your designs you have no plan on how to go about selling your value. There's just no strategy and all you're really doing is guessing. A huge mistake, which is something that I'm gonna throw in a bonus tip, people will just double the cost of their designs, which again, it's a good starting point if you're going to start somewhere, but that's not something you should be doing long-term. So know the money that's coming in and out of your business because if you wanna hire help, if you wanna leave your nine to five, if you want to make a six, seven, eight figure business and build generational wealth, you need to know your numbers. All millionaires know their numbers every single day. So make sure you know it. Act as if before it actually comes into reality. Speaking of undercharging, the next mistake that a lot of my event designers make when it comes to pricing their designs is very small profit. So let's define profit before we move on to this huge mistake that you're probably making. Okay, the definition of profit, very simple. The amount of money that is earned and the difference of the amount of money that is spent. Simple. How much is coming in, which is earned, that's your price, and how much you're spending. Most of the time, designers are usually afraid of increasing their price because they realize that the amount that they're spending is not enough to keep in their pocket. Don't get confused that if you're charging for $300, $400 balloon garland that you're actually making a 50% profit. Remember, 50% is half. 
you should be making at least $150 in your pocket for the most part in that example. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't sit here and be like, oh, she said to charge $300 and that's what I'll charge from here on out. No, but there's other things that you have to take account of when it comes to pricing your designs. It's more than just the cost. When you don't have higher profits, it just means that you have a lot of limiting beliefs. What is a limiting belief? A belief that keeps you limited. <laughs> it keeps you stuck. A lot of who we are is from how we were brought up. So think about the dialogue of what people were talking about when it came to money. If you don't address the mindset that's going on here with your money, you won't make more of it. It's guaranteed. In fact, you'll lose it even if you do gain that 50% profit margin. Remember, I'm gonna go through each solution of each mistake towards the end of the video. So keep watching because you're not gonna wanna miss this. Now, this is the biggest mistake that I see everywhere, including my Facebook group, including my DMs on Instagram, including my messages on Facebook, including on my TikTok. People will ask for validation of their designs. That is a huge mistake that you have to stop doing. I recently went live on my Facebook group and talked about this because that's all my designers kept asking was, how much would you charge for this? How much would you charge for that? How much would you charge for this? I charge for this, how much would you charge? Stop it. A friend of mine said something that was so valuable to me that I think you all should hear it. Instead of seeking validation for your price, right? Or seeking validation in anything that you do, Seek confirmation. Let that sit. When you seek validation and ask under entrepreneurs what they would think, how much they would charge, they're not your ideal client. They know what it takes to create your design. Even if they're not in that specific niche, they know it takes a lot for you to do it. So they are going to sit here and vow for you because technically they're vowing for themselves. Because it's a lot of work that we put into these designs and to know that people don't want to pay the proper pricing, it sucks. But if you seek validation as a CEO, you will never grow in your business. I want y'all to really hear me out on this because I'm about to do a little preach right here. Because again, I told you, this video was made before, but I think it needs to be addressed again when it comes to pricing your designs. Seeking validation just means you're looking for approval. Why? Come a little closer. Why are you looking for approval from other people? Are you not enough? When event designers are asking, can you tell me how much you would charge here? Can you tell me how much you would charge here? We need to stop. You are enough. Oh, I'm getting into the solutions, but I have to say this because this is the number one mistake that people keep making when charging their prices. They're looking for validation, instead seeking confirmation. We'll talk a little more about that towards the end of the video. When you seek validation, all it means is that you cannot handle feeling rejected. That is the inner work that you have to do. If something went wrong, not if something went wrong, I think all lessons are good, whether they are bad or good, they're meant for you. But feeling rejected stems from somewhere. And where that somewhere comes from, you have to figure out. More than likely, a person who can't stand to feel rejected and seeks that validation stems somewhere from childhood. So here's a question to ask yourself. Why do I need validation from others? Why do I need to seek approval to ensure that I'm confident with my prices? You are in charge of your business, no one else. Think about who you are in the future. If you were running your business full time, you had a whole team, would you be asking other entrepreneurs, hey, how much would you guys charge? I will answer that for you, you won't. Because all the six and seven and eight figure entrepreneurs that I see never ask for any approval from anyone else because they are confident in who they are, they know how much they're worth, and point blank period, they don't have time for anyone who can afford them. Let's really dive into the mistakes that you were making early in the beginning of the video and what are the solutions to help you fix it. The solution to not having confidence with pricing your designs is, I want you to know that you are already worthy to have everything come your way. Every cent, peso, euro, whatever currency money is out there, coins, dollars, whatever, you are already worthy of it. 
You are here, you exist, you're watching this video for a reason. So this message is for you. And I'm gonna look you straight in the eye and tell you, you don't need anyone else's approval. You don't need your moms, your dads, your brothers, your sisters, your aunts, your uncles, no one. Partner, kids, no one. You're already worthy, you're here. God placed you here on earth for a reason. So that means he knew you were worthy of it, right? Or whatever you believe in, the universe, spiritual, whoever you believe in, you're here for a purpose. It's not to make money, okay? Don't get me wrong, it does help. But you are already worthy of all things good coming your way. You have to believe in yourself when no one else will. Because no one else will believe in you the way you believe in yourself. Don't look at what's currently going on, right? I know it's hard to have confidence when you don't have clients. But put out the energy as if you already do. Think about it. Visualize. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath. And visualize what it would feel like to have these clients in the door. Sit up straight, okay? Arch your back a little. Put your head up. Stand in like that superhero's face or stance, whatever they say. Because there's power in making sure your body communicates with the world that you are confident. Another way to help with that confidence is saying your positive affirmations. I'm thinking about doing some affirmations on my channel because it's such a mindset shift that we have to make in order to be successful. So if you want some affirmations, make sure to like this video. And if I get to over 100, I'll make a video just for you guys. When it comes to the second mistake of undercharging, okay, here are some solutions that you should do. One, have a base price. You have to have a base price in order to know where to go from there. Just like a house. When you build a house, it has a cement, it has some type of foundation, and then you build up. Well, it's the same thing with your business. Have a base price. Have a minimum of where you will not take and stick to it. Another way to avoid undercharging, keep your receipts, right? Keep track of how much money that you're spending. There are a bunch of receipt apps that I will link down below and you guys download them to your phone, right? Especially if you're known to losing them like me, okay? Keep track of that. Put your money elsewhere in a different bank and separate business and your personal so that way you really start acting like that CEO. Another way that you can definitely get all your numbers aligned is hire a bookkeeper. Okay, I always talk about my bookkeeper, Brittany and Lionel at Intrinsic Accounting on Instagram. I absolutely love them. They are my bookkeeper. They help creative entrepreneurs, especially in the United States. Feel free to go check them out. I'll leave their information down below. DM them and say, hey, I came from Justine's video and she had mentioned you. Okay, I I'm going to say it to the people in the back. Yep. If you got people in the back there, yep. I'm talking to them too. Okay. Stop worrying about clients who don't pay. You want me to say that again? I'm going to say it again. Stop worrying about clients who don't pay. Instead, reverse engineer that idea and focus on the client who does. Even if you only have one. Because that's where Amber and Leslie are. Both started when it came to me coaching them. They were like, I only have a few clients. Okay, we're going to capitalize that. We're going to focus on them. We're going to ask them for feedback. And then you know what? Now they don't even need my help. They're making so much money in their business that it's skyrocketing. Pretty impressive, I must say. But that's what happens when you focus on clients versus focusing on people who don't want to pay. You don't need to convince anyone to buy your services. You don't need to convince them at all. In fact, you, sh you can't convince anyone. Once they made a decision about you, that's it. The only way you can convince someone is if they're interested. Now it's your job to persuade them by pulling them in and now selling your value of the business that you serve them with. In order to fix the mistake of having a small profit, I mean, this one is real simple. Increase your price. That's right. You? Yep. Yeah. No. Don't pause this video. I'm talking to you increase your price in fact wherever you are no matter how far along you are increase it at least by 20 percent if you do it and you get a client comment down below and let me know and let's celebrate together because i think that's amazing and i think once you get that one client to break the seal of charging more you're gonna want more of it so just do it once as my husband said just sell one one time with a higher price just try don't stop until you get it either also, in order to increase the profit, which increases sales, which increases more money in your pocket, increase the value that you bring your clients, right? Write it all down. What is the value that you're bringing your clients? And the next mistake that 
we tend to make, a lot of us tend to make, is the validating, right? Looking for validation. A lot of, um, on my Instagram lives, I had mentioned this book. Um, it's called The Inner Work. This right here has nothing to do with business, but this all has to do with why you're seeking validation. And then, and then some, right? Or like having like imposter syndrome or fear of rejection or not feeling good enough or always people pleasing. Does that sound familiar? Do y'all watch my TikTok right here? Vice. If you're thinking about turning your creative side hustle into a business, you're going to face every childhood wound you've ever had. <laughs> That's what I went depth with, but it's true. This talks about the negative thoughts or thoughts in general that we have in our head that forces us to seek validation, to get angry. Like it talks about so y'all need to get this book. Okay, I'll leave the link down below. It is an affiliate link, but again, you won't pay anything more. It's just to support my business. So if you are interested in getting this book, feel free to click it. And that way you can work on that inner work because that inner child in you needs to heal. And this will help you because this will help you grow faster into the CEO that you want to become. That's the only way you'll stop seeking validation. Instead, you will seek confirmation. When somebody says, oh my goodness, your design is everything I've been looking for for my event. I'm going to shout you out all to everyone in the world. That's confirmation because you already knew your worth. There's more to your business that you're providing when it comes to your designs. You were gifted with this skill. Utilize it in a way that is going to expand beyond your imagination and desires. Because the more you get better at it and less you're willing to give up, the more rewards you will reap in your life long term. I know we got deep. <laughs> I know we went real deep, but I want to let you know that I am praying over every single one of you who watch my channel. If you did and if something resonates, feel free to give this a like, subscribe, let me know what stood out, what mistake you're making that maybe I didn't mention. Let's have a conversation below. Y'all know I comment back, right? <laughs> I hope you design your dreams into reality, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs> my hair got stuck to my lip gloss.